Hi there. Welcome to our gold investment video series. In today's video, we'll discuss a question we received from a follower. Are collectibles allowed in an IRA? Let's delve deep and find out if it's even possible. First, a quick recap. IRAs were introduced in 1974, offering tax-advantaged ways for Americans to save for retirement. From traditional to Roth IRAs, each type has its unique rules. So, can these collectibles be part of your IRA? In most cases, the IRS says, no. Items like artworks, rugs, certain metals, and even specific coins don't qualify due to their subjective value and potential for personal enjoyment. However, there are exceptions. Precious metals, like gold and silver, can be included if they meet purity requirements. For instance, gold needs a 0 0.9995 fine level. Coins. Only certain ones, such as the American Eagle or Canadian Maple Leaf, are eligible. And remember, they must be stored in an approved depository. If you use your IRA assets for prohibited collectibles, you're in for a hefty penalty. For instance, a $20,000 prohibited collectible could land you with big tax bills and possibly a 10% early distribution tax. So, is it worth adding even the allowable collectibles to my IRA? Precious metals can act as a hedge against inflation. But remember, they come with their own risks. Coins, especially those with numismatic value, can be a wild card. Their value doesn't just depend on metal content, but factors like rarity and historical significance. In conclusion, while IRAs offer exciting possibilities with certain collectibles, it's essential to tread carefully. Always consult with a financial advisor and ensure your investments align with your retirement goals. Thank you for watching our video. For more in-depth information about gold IRAs, up-to-date comparison of the top gold IRA companies, special promotional gold IRA deals, and a free gold IRA investment kit, visit raremetalblog.com or click the link below.